Good evening, everybody, and a very, very warm welcome to St. James. Welcome to those gathered here in the building, and a very warm welcome to those joining our service online as well. Welcome to our Chris Dingle service. It's, it's great to be with you. Chris Dingles were first introduced to the UK uh, by the Children's Society charity just over 50 years ago, and a bit later on in the more about their amazing work. Throughout our time together today, we are going to help each other build our Chris Dingles and discover how the Chris Dingle helps us to celebrate Christmas. Everything that you will need for our service today will be uh, on the screen, so just uh, sit back and relax and join in the service. We're going to stand together when we sing, uh, and all other times in the service uh, we'll have a seat together. Please, uh, if you need to move around the building uh, for any reason, please feel free to do so. Um, and there is a toilet just at the back of church and to the right. Well, as we gather together today, we are going to start by singing our first song, which is Joy to the World. Ian and the band are going to lead us, and let's stand and sing together. beginning God created the heavens and the earth the earth was barren with no form of life it was under a roaring ocean covered with darkness but the Spirit of God was moving over the water God said I command the water under the sky to come together in one place so there will be dry ground and that's what happened God named the dry ground land and he named the water ocean God looked at what he had done and saw that it was good. Well, we're here today to celebrate that Jesus being born at Christmas time is good news for the whole world. Now, I wonder, does anybody have an orange? You do? Oh, that's really, really good news. That's really, really good news. I... Sometimes I go places and I ask, does anyone have an orange? No one has one. 
but I've definitely come to the right place today. That's wonderful. Now, can anybody tell me what shape is an orange? Yes. A circle, yes. Anybody else got uh, another name for it? Round, it's round, yes, exactly. Daniel, what do you think? A sphere, yes. The orange is a sphere, a bit like our planet, the Earth, is a sphere. And the Bible reading that we've just shared together tells us that God made the world. It tells us why God made the world. Because God wanted the world to be a special place for everybody to enjoy life with God. But what our reading didn't tell us was exactly how God made the world. Scientists and researchers have worked really, really hard for years and years to work out all they can about God's creation, how it comes together over millions and millions of years. It's so intricate, so clever, no one quite understands all of it. But what we do know is that God made the world as a special place and that it was good. So as we go along in our service, we're going to uh, gradually add each thing to our orange and to find out a bit more about why Christmas is good news for the whole world. But from the whole world to one very specific place, Bethlehem. Little did this town know that as people travelled there to be counted, God's greatest promise was about to become true. And so we're going to stand now and sing our next song, which is called, O Little Town of Bethlehem.
are going to share our second Bible reading, and it comes just after God has made the world, and it tells us what happens next. And Saffron is going to come and read that for us. The Lord God placed all kinds of beautiful trees and fruit trees in the garden. Two of the trees were in the middle of the garden. One of the trees gave life. The other gave power to know the difference between wrong and right. Thank you, Saffron. Now, I wonder, what are some of the ways that you like to celebrate Christmas? What are some of the things that you're looking forward to? Uh, when is Christmas, by the way? When is it? Shout it out. Tomorrow. It's only one more sleep to go. Amazing. So what, what are some of the things that you're really looking forward to about tomorrow? Oh, I heard one thing. What was that? Presents. Yes. Amazing. Anything else that anyone's looking forward to? Yes. What are you looking forward to? Presents as well. That is very wise. How about you? Jesus, you're looking forward to Jesus. That's amazing. He's looking forward to you as well. <laughs> Nanny's dinner. I bet that's delicious. Wow. Well, it's really great. Loads of people said presents, and we give presents as well to show each other that we uh, love each other. Uh, is anyone looking forward? In particular, has anyone got anything on their on their Christmas list? Yes, what have you got? A baby pram. Okay, well it's good for your baby to have a pram, isn't it? Wouldn't want it to be without that. Anyone else? Yes. A Nerf gun. As long as you don't shoot me with it, I'm sure that'd be great. The reasons that we give presents to each other at Christmas time, all the amazing gifts that God has given us. And we heard in that reading from the Bible that Saffron shared with us that God didn't just make the world and then leave it alone. Instead, He gave people good things, all that they needed to live. He gave them trees and plants and animals and food. God has given us so many presents. Now, I wonder because you're all so fantastic and you've got oranges with you. Has anyone else got some, have you got some sweets with you as well? Oh good, I'm so relieved. Again, I go places sometimes, people don't have sweets. What I think would be great is if you could put your, uh, your cocktail sticks, your little pieces of wood in your Christingle, like on the picture here, and then put your sweets on the sticks. I'll give us a minute or so to do that together. And if your hands aren't sticky, you're not doing it right.
if you put your sweets and your sticks onto your orange, can you hold it up so that we can see? That is wonderful. Well done, everybody. Great. So we put the, uh, the sticks and the sweets onto our Chris Dingle to remind us of all the good things, yeah, exactly, that God has given us. Uh, the trees and the fruit and the plants and the animals, everything that we need to live. And that is where the story of God's love starts. But as the story goes on, the first humans decide that they don't really want to live God's way, they want to live their own way. And it's a bit like God giving them a present and then them giving it back and saying that they don't want it. And so the first humans pushed God away. But God was so determined to be with the people that he loved and that he created. And the way that God showed us that is Jesus. And so in our final Bible reading for today, we are going to share some of Jesus' words talking about himself. Thank you, Edmund. Once again, Jesus spoke to the people. This time he said, I'm the, light for the, I'm the light for the world. Follow me and you won't be walking in the dark. You will have the light that life gives. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. So now we are going to put our little squares of foil into the top of our Christingles and we are going to put our candle on the top and then when you have done that if you can hold up your christingle and i'll tell you what we're going to do next people have got their candles on the top of their Christingle. So now we're just going to take a moment very carefully to light our Christingles. So what's going to happen is if everybody could stay very still where they are, Graham and Rachel are going to come round and they're going to light your Christingles for you. And then when they're lit, if you could keep them even stiller, that would be wonderful.
Okay, well, what we're going to do now, everybody, is that we're going to turn some of the lights off so that we can really concentrate on our candle flames. So if we can have those lights off, that would be great. And we'll stay sat down for our next song, but we are going to sing together Away in a Manger. Let's pray. During our prayers today, when I say, as we pray, you're invited to respond, shine your light. As we pray, shine your light. Jesus, born in a stable, be with the poor and homeless this Christmas time. As we pray, shine your light. Jesus, visited by shepherds, be with all who have to work this Christmas and those looking for work. As we pray, shine your light. Jesus, born of Mary, be with parents and children across the world this Christmas. As we pray, shine your light. Jesus, who became a refugee, be with those who are afraid and those who are far away from friends and family this Christmas. As we pray, shine your light. Amen. And now we're going to collect our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank <laughs> you. 
Isn't it amazing just how the tiniest light makes such a big difference? It swallows up the darkness around it. It passes on its light without ever losing its brightness. Jesus says that he is the light of the world. Sometimes the world can seem like light and joy and life and hope are a long way away. Sometimes we might wonder what God will do about evil, about disease, about death. We might imagine that the only way to deal with those things is to be more powerful than they are, to beat them at their own game. But that's not how God does it. At Christmas time, Jesus came into the world so that we can know what God is like and we can be close to God. But he doesn't appear as a mighty warrior. He comes as a tiny baby. A bit like that tiny flame on the candle, Jesus meets us in the small and in the gentle things of life. Jesus shows us what it's like to live a life that is full of God's light. He cared for those whom others forgot. He stood up for what was right. He showed people how to live for God. And there are billions of people around the world who are following the way of Jesus today. There's one more bit of our Christingle. There's a red ribbon that goes around the orange. It circles around the whole orange, reminding us of God's love for the whole world that goes on forever and ever. Jesus showed us just how deep his love for us is when he died on the cross and rose again to new life. That is why the colour of the ribbon is red, the colour of blood. Jesus' invitation to all of us this Christmas time and each and every day is to follow him and to shine like a light, to show people around us God's love, to pray for his world. One of the groups of people that do that so amazingly well is the Children's Society. They are a charity who care for children who are in poverty or who are lonely all around the UK. Like every charity, the past couple of years has been so tough for them. But actually, it's been times like these where their work is more important than ever before. If you'd like to, as we leave the church today, there's an opportunity to give some money to their important work. Before that, we are going to sing our final song for today, which is called Sing Christingle. And this brings all of the bits of the Christingle together and reminds us how it helps us to celebrate Christmas. So as we sing this song, what I'm going to invite you to do is to blow your candles out for the time being, and then you can light them again when you go home. And if we could have uh, the lights that were on before on again, be wonderful thank you and we're going to stand and sing once we've blown our candles out sing chris dingle
uh, thank you to you all for being here. Thank you. Yes, you can sit down. Uh, and thank you so much to everybody who has been involved uh, preparing our service today. Thank you to everybody who uh, put the Christingle packs together, to uh, the people who read, who did the music. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. And as, as you go today, if there's someone who uh, you know would love a Chris Dingle and it isn't here in person today, uh, then please take uh, any that are left over and feel free to give them to your friends and family. We'd also love to welcome you to some of our other Christmas celebrations over the next couple of days. Uh, this evening we are going to be gathering at 11 o'clock for a service of Midnight Mass together uh, to welcome in Christmas Day and you can take part in that either here in the building or online. And the same goes for our celebration on Christmas Day when we're going to be celebrating Jesus' birthday here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Can I finally take the opportunity to wish you all a very happy and blessed Christmas? And I'd love, as we go, to pray God's blessing on us all. So let's pray. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Mary and Joseph, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you forevermore. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Happy Christmas.